Hello, welcome back to Rockingham. Now today we've got another fast laps contender to shoot. It's the Mountune Modified M365 Focus ST. Now that means it has 365 horsepower, 565 newton meters of torque, and they've even been kind enough to stick a set of Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires on its rims. So I think it's gonna be very, very fast. Let's hit the track. excited to see how this thing can do today. The drive here this morning was like doing two double espressos one after the other with big teaspoons of sugar. I have been buzzing all morning in this car and now unleashed on Rockingham, well it feels as quick as the numbers suggest. Mountune have created this 365 or M365 demonstrator using pretty much everything from their back catalogue excluding the carbon intake box that they offer for the engine. But let me tell you, this thing sounds mega. I'm sure you can hear it. And that's when you're on throttle, off throttle, you get a few pops, it sounds monstrous. Essentially, we have the standard turbocharger for that EcoBoost 2.3 litre engine, but we've got a new intercooler and also they've mapped this thing up. So now it produces 365 horsepower, which is amazing enough. There's almost 100 more than the standard ST, but my head is blowing when I think of 565 newton meters of torque to go with that. I don't know what this thing does, 0 to 60 or 60 to 100, whatever. But I know the standard car will do 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds. This must be knocking on the door of five seconds. I mean, dare I say it, could it be under five? I don't know. Today, we're running this car with Mountune springs. They've got uprated brake pads, uprated brakes, and crucially, Michelin Cup 2 tires, which I go on about for their grip. Although they do like to slide when it's wet. And the track today is, it's dry, but there are definitely some greasy patches. It was heavy rain all day yesterday. Oh, this is quick. Heavy rain yesterday and the track has dried, thankfully, but there are just a few patches that are greasy. And anyone who knows Rockingham knows when it's greasy, when it's wet, or even when it's just a bit condensationy in the morning, it is so slippery. But these Cup 2s, whew, they are mega, mega tires. Now we don't have a mechanical diff on this car. It has the E diff, which basically means that the brakes are pinched. The inside wheel or the wheel with the slip, its brake will be pinched to help me with the traction on the front axle. But because the Cup 2s are so amazing, they don't seem to be, the E diff doesn't seem to be doing that much work today. I actually drove this car on track when it was wet a couple of days ago. We were here for a shoot the other day and I used this car to help dry out the track. And the E diff was working overtime and actually so much so that the front brakes were getting really hot, even when I wasn't necessarily using the brakes that much. But today, I don't think that's gonna be a problem because the traction is just sublime. In fact, the balance of this car is superb. The Focus, as standard, is an excellent, excellent handling car. The ST is an excellent, excellent handling hot hatch. And well, with these springs and these tires and what can only be described as an explosive engine, this thing, it pulls so hard, I just feel like it's all on the, oh my God, what is that, way over 100 into there. My God, this thing is fast. Whoa. This thing can only be described as supremely capable. Now, the balance is actually really nice. There's a bit of, there's a bit of a initial front end rotation, but then it doesn't come around really quick on you. Sort of rotation on in, he says as he gets a big slide. <laughs> That was just me being a bit flamboyant. Honestly, turn in is nice, bit of rotation, but then it settles. The back of the car is just, a, I like it. It's not, too, it's not too firm. There's a bit of forgiveness in the rear. And so if you do go in a bit too aggressively, as I did there, the back of the car just settles a little bit, just absorbs a bit of your energy and allows you to then go, right, okay, do I get on the power or do I, do I stay on the brake? Do I trail the brake a bit more? You've got this flexibility in the car. It's a wonderful thing to drive quickly. My goodness, it really is. And these brakes as well, superb, superb. Mountune have extracted, I mean, the car, I would say a standard has all of its potential. It's an excellent machine, but Mountune's just wound it up and made something spectacular. Oh, I could go on about this car all day long. 
but we're here to see how it goes up against the stopwatch. Dare I say it, when that inside line dries out, I'm gonna give it a few more laps to try and dry it out. This could be right up at the sharp end of our, our leaderboard. I mean, the temperature outside is 11 degrees today. So, you know, there's not really that much grip out there naturally. But this thing is just glued to the road where it matters. <laughs> I'm brimming, brimming with confidence in it, even when it's just moving around underneath me. I just trust it instinctively. It feels that good. Wow. All right. I'm going to keep hanging around here, dry out those lines. And you're going to join me in a second with my race helmet on and we're going to see how quickly it goes up against our stopwatch. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised at all. This Focus with Mountain's upgrades is absolutely rapid. It's slotted into fourth position very comfortably on our leaderboard. And I think that's pretty much exactly where it should have been. I don't think my lap was perfect. Made a couple of mistakes, but the front left tire was just starting to overheat. And obviously the weather, the temperature was getting colder. So I think that's the best we could have got out of it today. But there were some damp patches on track. So if we come back next year in the spring and this thing has some warm weather, I think it could probably knock off half a second from that time. Overall though, this thing, as it stands right now, with all of these upgrades Mountain Tunes put on it, is absolutely phenomenal to drive. I mean, the power, the mid-range torque, and the way it revs out as well, right to the red line, is really, really impressive. And then the brakes, I think that's the most impressive thing about this car. It's not the lightest thing in the world, as we know, and the brakes were phenomenal. It was a case of stamping on that pedal as hard as I could, and then peeling off, obviously, trail braking as I turned in. But the initial bite was fantastic. Not, not something I've experienced on a hot hatch before, actually. And then when it came to putting the power down as well, there was so much grip because of these Cup 2 tyres. Although I have to admit, I do think with 365 horsepower, and especially with that 565 newton meters of torque, I think a mechanical diff, it would have just been absolutely spot on. The e-diff was good, but I think with a mechanical diff, even more time would come away. Anyway, overall, I'm absolutely blown away by this car. I think it's fantastic. Did you like it? Did you enjoy the onboard? Let me know what you think in the comments, of course. And if you like the video, click that button below. And please do subscribe as well, because we have a whole feature of cars coming through the pipeline, many of which will be here at Rockingham. See you soon.